In this video I'm going to take you through how to write your first program in Visual Basic. Um, once we've started a new project, and I've called this Hello World 2 because I've already got a Hello World 1 from previous examples, you end up with this screen here and in between sub and end sub is where we write our code. Now this program we want it to display the Hello World message in the console screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to start typing console capital C dot right line and you'll notice I use a capital letter for the start of each new word and then in brackets and speech marks so that's shift 2 you'll notice I open a bracket and it closes the brackets for me automatically I open the speech marks and it closes automatically for me so Visual Studio is helping me out writing my code here I'm going to type the web the message hello world like that I want to test my code I'm going to press start to run it. Now that line of code means put a message in the console that says whatever's between these speech marks. So let's see, press start, you'll get a little window here that says it started to build my project, it's just thinking about running it, and in a second it should start to run. It might take a moment or two because we're in the virtual machine which runs a little bit more slowly. There we go. There we are. Did you see that? It was quick, but the console appeared, the message hello world was in it, but then the computer moved straight on to end sub and ended the program, which basically means that it closed the console window. So for this to work effectively, we need one more line of code here. And this is something you should always put in just before end sub at the very end of every program you write. We're going to put console dot read line and open and close brackets with nothing inside. What that does is it makes the program wait for user inputs. In other words, it waits for the user to press the enter key. The user can type something before they press the enter key if they like, but once they press the enter key, then it moves on from this line to the end sub line and closes the window. So let's look at the difference. There's hello world, and you can see it's running the console read line. Now, I could type in whatever I wanted, or, but the moment I press the enter key, my program will move down onto this end sub line, like so, and exit the program. That's your first program. Have a go at that one, and then your challenge is to start a new project on your own and try and write a program that tells a joke. So it gives the first line of the joke, but it doesn't give the second line or the punch line until the user presses enter. So let's see if you can adapt what we've just done and create a new program that tells a joke. Off you go.